Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to my channel, Life and Lessons. It's your girl, Melissa. I'm back with you with another blessful, encouraging message. So, today I just want to come on here and um, share some um, words of encouragement. You know, you know, since now that we like, we, we all on like a shit, you know, a lockdown. So I just want to come on here and um, share some encouraging words. Share I have a couple of scriptures that I want to share. But the message that um, I want to drop in your spirit on today is be encouraged. Be encouraged. No matter what you see going on, no matter what you hear, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Um, as we on this lockdown and, you know, some of us parents, we... um. We at home with our kids. We doing. We trying to. Do, we doing homeschooling. Be encouraged. Don't get stressed out. Be encouraged. You know, if you find time as you um, you're homeschooling your kids and you take a little break. You know, open up your Bible and read. Get you some words of encouragement to get you through um this crisis that's going on. Yeah. So. Be encouraged, you know, um, read, I have some scriptures on peace that I want to bless you with. I have some scriptures on hope that I want to bless you with. Um, me, myself, I'm learning um, while we're going through this crisis. Um, but what I've been doing, what I've been doing in this isolation period, I've just been praying, getting on my knees praying. I've been fasting. I've been reading my word. You know, I've been just been doing little stuff around the house. If it's cleaning, organizing stuff, I've just been finding things to do that I wasn't able to do when I was in school. So, be encouraged. Try to find things around the house to do. After you get done doing your schooling and helping your kids with their homeschooling, doing a dinner, open up your Bible, get your meditation on because you're going to need it. We going to need it. We're going to need this word to get us through the rest of the week. We don't know how long this lockdown going to take place. I hope it's not that long because I'm ready to go back to school. I'm ready to go back to church. I miss church. I miss school. So I pray this thing don't be long. I'm just praying that it's you know, it just over. Just praying that it just bypasses us. So again, um, the scriptures I want to um, give you, if you have a pen or paper, um, write them down. And I'll try to put them in the description box down below. But the first one is, these are scriptures on peace. The first one is John 14, 27 through 29. Um, Isaiah 26 and 3. Romans, Romans 5 and 1. 2 Corinthians 13 and 11, Ephesians, Ephesians 2 and 14, and Ephesians 4 and 3. Again, those scriptures are on peace. I get you find you some peace in this, in this crisis. And the next scriptures I want to share with you is on hope. Psalms 3 and 3, Matthew 9 and 22, Luke 18 and 35, and Mark, Mark 5 and 35 through 36. And Leviticus, Leviticus 20, is that 20? Leviticus 20, Leviticus 20, 40 through 46. I think, I believe it is, I, I wrote this down so fast. So it looked like it said 20 or 26, but I'm going to go back and look and correct it and put it in the description box down below. So again, those scriptures are on hope. Because right now, through this crisis, we need hope. We need hope for tomorrow. We need hope for the next week. We need hope. We need to get through this. So, I just want to come on here and I just want to come on here and give you words of encouragement. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Don't let this thing get us down. You know, don't let this thing get us in a panicky mode. Like, oh my God, this is it. We've been we about to get up out of here. Be encouraged. God has the final say. God knows when it's going to be the end. But I do want to say this, that we're coming to the end. But God has the final say. So no matter what you hear on um, social media or whatever, um, just recently I kept getting messages and messages and messages on Messenger, Facebook messages, 
and people were just sending me all type of video and I had to shut my messenger thing down. I had to delete the app. I took the app down and I said, Lord, I don't want to see no more negative videos. So I took my messenger down for a little while and so this thing just died down because right now I just want to feed my spirit with positive things. So I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not telling you, you know, take you know to delete your messenger. I'm just saying that whoever when people are sending you messages and um if they're not positive, I want to look at them. <coughs> Excuse me. If they're not positive, I want to look at them. I will only look at positive messages because that's what you need to be feeding your spirit with right now with this going on with positive messages right now. Like I said in my last video, we need to be sharing the gospel, the good news we, to others to encourage them. Because I can just imagine if I'm a believer of Christ and somebody sent me a negative video and it troubled my spirit. I can just imagine the person that who is not who is not a believer of Christ and they sent them the video and it troubled their spirit. So again, so again, I just want to say we need to be sharing the gospel, the good news of God, the good news of Jesus Christ. We need to be sharing uh, encouraging messages to our loved ones that might be in fear. And um I want to talk about my Q&A video. I'm still in the making. I'm still working on uh, my Q&A video. But what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to give enough people to comment on the video, to ask questions before I do the video. So if you have already um, put a comment to ask questions, I got, your, um, I got your questions and I'm going to add it to the video. So I'm just waiting so I get enough people to, um, to comment down below. And then I'm going to uh, do the video. So until next time, it's your girl Melissa. Um, be blessed in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.